Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Kitty Flanagan! In for the president, Kitty. you don't have to know that. Yes, what I'm coming. Doing? Sorry. What are you doing? Don't chip in. What are you doing? Can you sign that? Sign this. What's, <laughs> what's that? What's? <laughs> what's? What do you? What is? Who's leaving? Yeah, me. Can you just sign my card and give me a hundred bucks? I'll make that. <laughs> you won't chip in for the present. No one's chipping in. No, no, that's because we're all leaving, Kitty. It's it's the last episode for 2018. We're, we're back next year. Not me, Chuck. I've had it. I want to do real journalism. I'm sick of being your kooky stooge. <laughs> I like this show's weatherman, your go-to idiot. I'm better than that. I went out on some serious political stories this year and you refused to put any of them to air. I was in Canberra as the leadership spill was unfolding, but did you cross to me? <laughs> but we didn't because you were asleep. Yeah, right. Oh, well, I was awake in Singapore. I brokered the shit out of that deal with Trump and Kim Jong. And what about my unbelievable coup getting a one on one with Theresa May? <laughs> I was on the scene, busting moves with Theresa, and you never showed a single second of it, Charlie. Yeah, look, to be fair, I just assumed you, you wouldn't want. <laughs> I assumed you wouldn't want anyone to see that because. I mean, you made Theresa May look like she's got rhythm. Like, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Anyway, because this is my last episode, I've put together an in memoriam. A, a what? An in memoriam. You know, at the Logies, like when they have the big screen and they put up photos of all the people who can't make it to the show. No, no, Kitty. Kitty the, the reason they can't make it to the show is because they're dead. <laughs> an, in, an in memoriam is for dead people. Is it? I thought it was just a fancy Latin way of saying sorry, I can't make it. So. <laughs> this in memoriam to say, sorry, I can't make it next year. OK, so for your last episode, you're doing a tribute to your dead self. <laughs> yes, I am. And, look, to be fair, by the time this goes to air, I may well be dead. I'm pretty old, so... <laughs> Here to sing me to death with a beautiful Alex Lloyd song, would you please welcome Stephen Gacy Gates. <laughs> No oh, that was my first day, remember? Rock. Yeah. Oh, and then Tom gave me my pass. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. I found it more fun than Tom, I think. Yeah. <laughs> He's never brought that up. Oh, it was my birthday. Oh, yeah. All those assholes ate all the cake. Belated feelings that you have denied. A bit angry. When every wolf is at your door. Like a million times before. Was you going on me? You got to be better. And then we had our first fight. Remember our first fight? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember our first fight. Because <laughs> you were amazing. You, you were pretty amazing. I always, I always had trouble with that cup, though, didn't I? Just that one particular cup. That was your audition tape. So many memories. I forgot my pants that day, but it still went on. <laughs> I'm a trooper. <laughs> Had worms, but I still gave it my all. Do you know what? I'm just... I'm moved to sing, Charlie, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to join Gatesy. <clears throat> and I really didn't want to push today. No, I really didn't want to end this way. But the things that seem to bind us are the things we put behind us on this day.
Thank you.